Well, computers do not have eyes, and apparently, according to Chip Kelly, they go to bed early, so they did not get to see Oregon State's win over Utah. For the Beavers, that might be a good thing. It wasn't pretty, but it was a win. Steven Nelson wraps it up for us from Reeser. On a homecoming weekend in front of a blacked out Reeser Stadium crowd, the Beavers got their sixth victory of the season, and they did it with the defense coming up with huge momentum swinging plays at opportunistic times. We go in thinking that we're going to change this way, especially uh, a lot of these big games that we've been having. Every single game that we've had has been a brawl. So our defense has come out and wanting to change the momentum. The first two touchdowns, we didn't have to go farther than you know 30 yards, 20 yards. So, um, you know, hats off to them. They played awesome tonight. The matchup people were looking at heading into Saturday's game was the Oregon State offensive line against Utah's physical front and standout star Lotulele. And boy, what a performance from true freshman center Isaac Semalo. Big time player, and they, they did a great job, especially with, uh, with Isaac up front. And uh, he, I mean, he did a great job. Utah, one of the most physical defenses that we've seen for two years now. For the most part, we did a pretty good job. We got a couple of hurries, but I don't know that they got any sacks. Looking ahead to next week at Washington, Mike Riley said after the game, all indications are Sean Mannion will play. So the Beavers are 6-0. and For some historical perspective on how big that is, the last time they were 6-0, 1907. Teddy Roosevelt was president, and the Chicago Cubs won the World Series. And oh, by the way, the Beavers are eligible for a bowl game. Reporting inside Research Stadium from Corvallis, Stephen Nelson, KEZI 9 Sports.